Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Today is about, we come into the end of the pruning season, the heavy pruning season. Winter, we're not gonna do a lot outside in our gardens. How can we best prepare our tools so that when we take them out in the spring, that they're gonna work exactly as we want them? So here's just a few basic tips. The first one is cleaning. As you can see from the three tools and particularly the, the 2WP product, is that they're all stained from uh, pruning and lopping. To take it off with a scourer and simply work away at it, both sides. Get the sap off in relation to the blade, doing the same thing, working from the top of the blade towards the actual point, right, so as not to cut ourselves. And this water that I'm using is hot, not hot that I'll burn my hands, but hot enough to help dissolve the rubbish off of there. That one's clean. Do the same with this bypass secateur. Right, getting rid of the rubbish. Bypass a, bit, uh, a, a tool that suffer, that if they get dirty and particularly they build up sap right along this the back of the cutting edge here, which then forces them apart when you're trying to cut. So I've, I've got rid of the worst of the sap and dirt and build up that's on that. And then the same here with the lopper. And it's just running over it. Getting it clean. I'm sorry I'm taking so long. Open it up so I can get to the blade properly. Again, working from the top down. One of the strong comments is, when should I replace a blade? particularly on a 2WP International product. And the comment is, if you can see here, you can see the black here, which is a PTFE or like a Teflon. And then you can see the bare steel coming through underneath there, where most of the work's been done. As soon as we start to get that amount of uh, the PTFE wear away, what we end up is with steel going through the timber instead of the PTE, PTFE coating, which helps it. So that's about the time when I'd be wanting to replace this blade. One final area here, and that's the same on a secateur. If you're back half the width of the blade, that's the time, you know, a third to a half, that's the time when you want to change the blade. So we've got rid of most of the rubbish off of it. The simple now is to, this spray, any water that's, that's in the unit, this spray is gonna displace it. So what we, turn it around, make it easier for myself. Where I wanna lubricate this is on the pivot points and also in the ratchet mechanism there. And the simple way to make sure that you've got it all, the lubricant goes to the parts that we want it to, is just open and close. Let the lopper, in this case, go through its action. 
put that to the side. Secateur, a lot easier. Get the secateur, open it fully. If it's a dual mode product, turn it to the ratchet position. If it's a Mark two, three or four in the 2WP International range, it's ratchet all the time and spray a liberal spray from front to so what we're doing is we're coating all the way from there to there all the opening and then again working the mechanism so with both of our products there's two things that we're doing is that we're washing all the rubbish out whether it's the secateur or the lopper. And we're also getting the lubricant around all of the moving parts. In relation to a bypass secateur, it's a lot easier. All we're trying to do is where it pivots. There's no other moving parts. But the same process again work it backwards and forwards so to get the lubricant through and wash out if there's any dirt any rubbish caught in behind where it pivots that that comes out of the secateur and the same with the bypass lopper when you're finished wipe the excess off the lubricant's going to stay where we want it and that's in the moving parts exactly the same with the lopper again just where we sprayed before all we're doing is we're taking off the excess we're still leaving a coating and if there's any moisture we're not we're going to not have rust and then the same then with this secateur just spending a little bit of time wiping it. Right, last but not least, sharpening. Again, I'm gonna promote our um, Edgemate sharpener because it is basically the simplest way to sharpen. With the uh, tungsten carbide tips, push them all the way into the back, the slot allows you to get all the way in there and then simply pulling down if it's reasonably sharp two or three strokes if it's really blunt seven to ten not heavy but just light to medium strokes that secateur now still a little bit oily but that's the way i want it when i was putting it away The lopper, exactly the same process is we just run along. This one is fairly damaged, the blade with a big chunk out of it. see you can see that little edge and that's all we're sharpening and we've got that tool this lopper back nice and sharp with the bypass version of the sharpener open it hold it there and again, exactly the same movement. It allows us to get all the way into the throat of the, of the secateur. It's simply coming down like that with strokes. We've got the edge of this now nice and sharp. One last wipe over, put it away. When you go to take them out, 
they might still be a little little bit oily if they are just a, a quick wipe over but come springtime you're going to pull your tool out and it's going to operate like it was new thanks for watching this video and thanks for supporting us